If I were to name a technology that completely changed the 21st century, it would be artificial intelligence. AI is a part of our everyday life and that's why I think it's important that we understand the different concepts of artificial intelligence. With this in mind, I welcome you to this session. Hi everyone, I'm Zuleika from Edureka and today we'll be discussing about the different types of AI. So let me begin by discussing the agenda with you. We'll begin the session by understanding the history of artificial intelligence. Following this, we'll understand what exactly is artificial intelligence. After that, we'll discuss the different stages of AI and the different types of artificial intelligence. And we'll finally end the session by understanding the different branches or the different domains of artificial intelligence. I hope all of you are clear with the agenda. So now let's get started with the first topic, which is history of artificial intelligence. The concept of AI goes back to the classical ages. Under Greek mythology, the concept of machines and mechanical men were well thought of. An example is Talos. Talos was supposedly a giant animated bronze warrior who was programmed to guard the island of Crete. Now let's get back to the 19th century. In 1950, Alan Turing proposed the Turing test. The Turing test basically determines whether or not a computer can intelligently think like a human being. The Turing test was the first serious proposal in the philosophy of artificial intelligence. 1951 marked the era for game artificial intelligence. This period was called game AI because here a lot of computer scientists developed programs for checkers and for chess. However, these programs were later rewritten and redone in a better way. 1956 marked the most important year for artificial intelligence. During this year, John McCarthy first coined the term artificial intelligence. This was followed by the first AI laboratory, which was set up in 1959. MIT AI lab was the first setup, which was basically dedicated to the research of AI. In 1960, the first robot was introduced to the General Motors assembly line. In 1961, the first AI chatbot called Eliza was introduced. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue beats the world champion Gary Kasparov in the game of chess. 2005 marks for the year when an autonomous robotic car called Stanley won the DARPA Grand Challenge. In 2011, IBM's question answering machine, Watson, defeated the two greatest Jeopardy champions, Brad Rutter and Ken Jennings. So that was a brief history of AI. Now, guys, since the emergence of artificial intelligence in 1950s, we have seen an exponential growth in its potential. AI covers domains such as machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, natural language processing, knowledge base, expert systems, and so on. Now that you know a brief history of artificial intelligence, let's move on and understand what exactly artificial intelligence is. So the term artificial intelligence was first coined by John McCarthy, like I mentioned earlier. He defined AI as the science and engineering of making intelligent machines. In other words, artificial intelligence can also be defined as the development of computer systems that are capable of performing tasks that require human intelligence such as decision making, object detection, solving complex problems and so on. So like I mentioned, artificial intelligence helps in decision making, solving complex problems, it performs high level computations and also increases the accuracy of your predictions. Right? These are the main features of AI. So now let's understand the different stages of artificial intelligence. So basically when I was doing my research, I found a lot of videos and a lot of articles that stated that artificial general intelligence, artificial narrow intelligence and artificial super intelligence are the different types of AI. If I have to be more precise with you, then artificial intelligence has three different stages, right? The types of AI are completely different from the stages of AI. So under the stages of artificial intelligence, we have artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence and artificial super intelligence. So what is artificial narrow intelligence? Artificial narrow intelligence, also known as weak AI, is a stage of artificial intelligence that involves machines that can perform only a narrowly defined set of specific tasks. Right. At this stage, the machines don't possess any thinking ability. They just perform a set of predefined functions. Examples of weak AI include Siri, Alexa, AlphaGo, Sophia, the self-driving cars and so on. Almost all the AI based systems that are built till this date fall under the category of weak AI or artificial narrow intelligence. Next, we have something known as artificial general intelligence. 
Artificial general intelligence is also known as strong AI. This stage is the evolution of artificial intelligence wherein machines will possess the ability to think and make decisions just like human beings. There are currently no existing examples of strong AI, but it's believed that we will soon be able to create machines that are as smart as human beings. Strong AI is actually considered a threat to human existence by many scientists. This includes Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking quoted that the development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of human race. Moving on to our last stage, which is artificial super intelligence. Artificial super intelligence is that stage of AI when the capability of computers will surpass human beings. Artificial super intelligence is currently seen as a hypothetical situation as depicted in movies and science fiction books. You see a lot of movies which show that machines are taking over the world. All of that is artificial super intelligence. Now, I believe that machines are not very far from reaching the stage taking into consideration our current pace. However, such systems don't currently exist, right? We don't have any machine that is capable of thinking better than a human being or reasoning in a better way than a human. Artificial super intelligence, basically any robot that is much smarter than humans. Now moving on to the different types of artificial intelligence based on the functionality of AI based systems. Artificial intelligence can be categorized into four types. The first type is reactive machines AI. This type of AI includes machines that operate solely based on the present data and take into consideration only the current situation. Reactive AI machines cannot form inferences from the data to evaluate any future actions. They can perform a narrowed range of predefined tasks. An example of reactive AI is the famous IBM chess program that beat the world champion Gary Kasparov. This is one of the most impressive AI machines built so far. Next, we have limited memory AI. Now, like the name suggests, limited memory AI can make informed and improved decisions by studying the past data from its memory. So such an AI has a short lived or you can say a temporary memory that can be used to store past experiences and hence evaluate your future actions. Self driving cars are limited memory AI that use the data collected in the recent past to make immediate decisions. For example, self driving cars use sensors to identify civilians that are crossing the road. They identify any steep roads or traffic signals and they use this to make better driving decisions. This also helps in preventing any future accidents. Next, we have something known as theory of mind artificial intelligence. The theory of mind AI is a more advanced type of artificial intelligence. This category is speculated to play a very important role in psychology. This type of AI will mainly focus on emotional intelligence so that human beliefs and thoughts can be better comprehended. The theory of mind AI has not been fully developed yet but rigorous research is happening in this area. Moving on to our last type of artificial intelligence is the self aware artificial intelligence. So guys, let's just fold hands and pray that we don't reach the state of AI where machines have their own consciousness and become self aware. This type of AI is a little far fetched, but in the future achieving a stage of super intelligence might be possible. Geniuses like Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking have constantly warned us about evolution of AI. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do you ever think we'll reach the stage of artificial super intelligence? Moving on to the last topic of today's session is the different domains or the different branches of artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence can be used to solve real world problems by implementing machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, robotics, expert systems and fuzzy logic. Now guys, these are the different domains or you can say the different branches that AI uses in order to solve any problem. Recently, AI has also been used as an application in computer vision and image processing. Right for now, let me tell you briefly about each of these domains. Machine learning is basically the science of getting machines to interpret process and analyze data in order to solve real world problems. Right under machine learning, there's supervised, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. If any of you are interested in learning about these technologies, I'll leave a link in the description box. You all can go through that content. Next, we have deep learning or neural networks. So deep learning is a process of implementing neural networks on high dimensional data to gain insights and form solutions. It is basically the logic behind the face verification algorithm on Facebook. 
It is the logic behind the self-driving cars, virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa. Then we have natural language processing. Natural language processing refers to the science of drawing insights from natural human language in order to communicate with machines and grow businesses. So an example of NLP is Twitter and Amazon. Twitter uses NLP to filter out terroristic language in their tweets. Amazon uses NLP to understand customer reviews and improve user experience. Then we have robotics. Robotics is a branch of artificial intelligence which focuses on the different branches and applications of robots. AI robots are artificial agents which act in the real world environment to produce results by taking some accountable actions. So I'm sure all of you have heard of Sophia. Sophia the humanoid is a very good example of AI in robotics. Then we have fuzzy logic. So fuzzy logic is a computing approach that is based on the principle of degree of truth instead of the usual modern logic that we use, which is basically the Boolean logic. Fuzzy logic is used in medical fields to solve complex problems which involve decision making. It is also used in automating gear systems in your cars and all of that. Then we have expert systems. An expert system is an AI based computer system that learns and reciprocates the decision making ability of a human expert. Expert systems use if then logic notions in order to solve any complex problem. They do not rely on conventional procedural programming. Expert systems are mainly used in information management. They are seen to be used in fraud detection, virus detection, also in managing medical and hospital records and so on. So guys, to sum it up, these were the different branches of artificial intelligence. AI is actually a very vast field and if you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, I'll leave a couple of links in the description box. So guys, that's all for today. I hope all of you enjoyed this session. Until next time, happy learning.